I'm Dan Galpin, Android developer advocate here at Google. This is Android Tool Time, and we're here with Android Studio 2.2. At Google I.O. this year, we previewed Android Studio 2.2, promising a host of new features and improvements. After testing and integrating your feedback during the preview and beta phases, we're happy to announce that Android Studio 2.2 is now available for download in the stable channel. Android Studio 2.2 offers improvements for all phases of app creation, prototyping and interface design, code development and iteration, and testing and debugging. Let me walk you through some of those changes. We revamped the layout editor and added built-in support for constraint layout, an entirely new way to build dynamic user interfaces on Android in a visual way, by specifying view positions and constraints. The layout editor features a new blueprint mode and an attribute panel for changing the visual attributes of widgets, so you won't have to jump into text mode as often. And for when you need to debug your UI, we have a new layout inspector that lets you capture a snapshot of the view hierarchy and attributes as they run on a device or emulator. We're continually improving the code editor, bringing you better code analysis with new and updated lint checks. You can now also simply right-click to search across all our samples on GitHub when you need to consult Android sample code for the proper usage of an API. And we've upgraded to IntelliJ 2016.1 with all its enhancements, such as right-to-left language support and method argument reordering. Thanks to the Firebase integration, you can now easily add Firebase services like analytics, cloud messaging, and crash reporting to your apps, including initial project setup and adding dependencies. We include handy documentation links and code snippets that you can add to your app to get the Firebase features up and running quickly. To better understand what happens to your manifest during merging, you can now use the Merged Manifest Viewer. This lets you preview the manifest as it will look after the build, with contributions from other manifest files in libraries highlighted in different colors. For developers who want to examine the finished content of their APK, we've built a new APK analyzer in Android Studio. By simply opening your app's APK, you will be able to inspect how much space each component of your app takes up, along with an estimated download size, even taking into account any compression applied by the Play Store. With the Compare feature, it's easy to analyze APK size regressions relative to previous versions of your app. You can also debug multi-dex issues by drilling down into classes.dex, as well as explore the contents of resource files. Anyone working with native code in libraries will be happy to hear that we've added support for C and C++ projects using the CMake and NDK build systems. Now you can seamlessly import your native project in Android Studio and take advantage of the many improvements we've made to editing and debugging C and C++ code in the IDE. For those working with OpenGL ES directly, we're including a beta version of a new GPU debugger which records GL commands at runtime and lets you replay and fully inspect the GL state in each frame and after each instruction, including the contents of the buffers, textures, and meshes. We're still working on a few features of the GPU debugger, as well as improvements to its speed and stability, which is why it's marked as beta. Please give us feedback on this new tool through the Android Studio Google Plus community and bug tracker. With this release of Android Studio, we're letting developers try out our new tool for creating UI tests for your apps, the Espresso Test Recorder, also in beta. The test recorder works by recording your interactions with the app within the emulator and letting you add assertions in a simple interface. The generated tests are just plain Java code using the Espresso library, so you can customize them later if needed. The release of Android Studio 2.2 coincides with the 25.2.2 updates to the SDK tools and Android emulator. The emulator now lets you simulate several Android sensors, such as the accelerometer, magnetometer, ambient temperature, and more within the emulator UI, including a 3D representation of the device that you can move about. As always, the newest Android Studio brings many other under-the-hood improvements, such as fixes to instant run, build time improvements, support for annotation processors in the Jack compiler, new app packaging code, and better accessibility support in the IDE. To make sure you get the most of this version of Studio, remember to update your projects to use the 2.2.0 version of our Android Gradle plugin. Update your build tools and emulator images using the SDK Manager, and make sure to enable Instant Run. I think that you'll enjoy the many new features and stability improvements in Android Studio 2.2. And as always, we're looking forward to your feedback. <laughs>